Hello everyone, welcome to the Right Share Hub. I am Natalia Bilbao, I am an actress, TV host, online host, theater actress, ETC, and I also work for Lyft on and off. And uh, this channel, the Ride Share Hub, is actually for those of you who want to know more about what it's like to be a ride share driver. So if you're thinking about becoming an Uber or Lyft driver, you can actually get a sign on bonus by clicking on the link in the description. I always like to do this. So today we're going to talk about, or actually I am going to talk about, um, some tips for female drivers. So in case you're wondering, um, should I be an Uber or Lyft driver as a female? My answer is yes, it is absolutely safe. And I'll give you some tips to also make it more convenient and comfortable for you gals. The first tip I want to share with you guys, with you gals, is that it's actually better or more convenient, uh, more comfortable if you drive during the day. I mean, there's more light. So, and also not just, you know, the fact that there's more light, which means you get to see everything much clearly so that if you're driving into a street, you can actually see if there's, you know, someone that looks kind of weird there on the curb and who potentially might make your time they're waiting for your uh, client a little uncomfortable. So if you drive during the day, you can actually see things much clearly. And also the kind of people who are going to be in your car will be probably not saying that they're not going to be uh, rude because you might still get people who are rude or just mean, but for the most part, they will not be intoxicated because during the day people try not to drink a lot in general. So that's the thing. So try to drive during the day so that you will not have to encounter people who can make your drive a little uncomfortable potentially. Okay, tip number two. It's important. Tip number two that you also tell someone who you trust where you're going and when you're going. So for me, I like to keep a Google Calendar where I always write down when and where I'm gonna be driving so that if for whatever reason I don't come back home, a friend or a family member knows exactly where and when I was gone and for how long and they can actually pinpoint my location. And this is very important because, you know, you might have an accident, you might get lost, who knows? So it's important to always tell someone, it can be a flatmate, it can be a friend, a friendly neighbor, be like, hey, so I'm gonna be, you know, just like text them, be like, hey, I'm gonna be driving around this area, you know, from four till seven. So just let you know if I'm not back in like, I don't know, six hours after the time I'm supposed to come back, then please call the police or call my parents or someone, you know, to take care of me potentially because something must have happened to me. Cool. Uh, let's see. Tip number three. Alrighty. Okay. Tip number three goes for both females and males. It's about looking good because image is very important, guys. It's not just that we're shallow. I live in Los Angeles. You might think, oh my gosh, she's so shallow. No. It's also because, let's face it, we all love looking at pretty and clean things. So if you're well groomed, it's more likely that your clients will tip you. I took forever to say that because I was thinking about, <laughs> I'm going to start again saying this thing because that it went terribly wrong. Okay. Tip number three, dress up, dress nicely. You don't have to dress up like you're going for the Academy Awards, but this is for both females and males. If you look good, then there's more chance that you will get a tip from your customers because let's face it, we like looking at pretty and clean things. If you're well groomed, you look nice, well kept and you smell nice, you're also gonna make it more comfortable for the people driving with you. So that it's not suffering for it. Cause I guess I've had to also as a driver, I've had to take people who were not, let's say very concerned about their BO and it's been a really long and terrible ride, but hey, I'm getting paid so it's fine. But you as a driver cannot let that happen to you. So take care of yourselves guys and gals and look good, smell good, because then you'll get more tips. Tip number four is actually one of my favorite tips. It's very simple, it might sound a little silly, but it's really important. It's about asking the person you're writing for his or her name, because we tend to just pull over and be like, hey, I'm Natalia, are you Patrick? And they'll go like, yes, that's me. And that's fine, but what if 
the Patrick that you're looking for is not the Patrick that is going to be writing with you. What if you're picking someone who is not Patrick, who's not the person that should be paying for your ride? You're just getting a total stranger into your car. And they're not going to pay for your ride anyways. So always, whenever you pull over and you ask, you need to ask for their name. Be like, hi, what's your name? Don't just assume like, hi, you're Patrick, right? It's a silly tip, but it's really important. Also for your safety. Be cautious, guys and girls. Alrighty, tip number five. Oh, yes. Tip number five, it's kind of related to the previous tip in the sense that you have to be cautious and just be wary of the kind of things you say. And this is about your private information. You can just hit it off immediately with someone who is in your car. You can start talking. You can become best friends, even like lovers, potentially marry each other soon. But just be cautious and wary of sharing too much information because you never know who the person sitting beside you or in the back seat is. You know, they can be really nice and let's hope that everybody is really nice. I've never had any weird experiences, but just be wary of sharing sensitive information because you never know if those people who look really nice, who seem really nice are total creeps. So be wary of sharing private information. Okay, so final, the final tip, tip number six. Just relax, you know, everybody is a little concerned about safety these days and I get it, but guys, when you're lifting or Ubering, everything is being tracked on the app. So you have nothing to worry about because the company knows exactly where you are at all times so that they can track you. If you have an accident, if something happens to you, everybody in the world will know because they will make sure that that information gets the right people. So you're being tracked, guys, so you're safe, okay? So this is all for this video, um, especially directed towards females, but also for males, just be wary of uh, the things you do, but overall, being a Lyft and Uber driver is probably one of the safest and most comfortable jobs out there. So again, if you're not a Lyft and Uber driver yet, but you're considering it, you can click on the link in the description for a sign-on bonus. And just follow us to get all the tips that you need to be a better Lyft and Uber driver. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am Natalia Bilbao. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also check my website. And I'll be here very soon sharing more tips for you guys here at the Rideshare Hub. Have a wonderful day. Bye.